Welcome to the GP Lamy YouTube channel and in this video, a very useful data field that I've come across for Garmin devices. Now recently over on Reddit, somebody recommended that I look into the data field called Wind Field. It can be found over on the Connect IQ store. To be honest, I didn't think much about knowing which way the wind was blowing when I was out on the bike. Typically before a ride, I'll check the weather forecasts online and start my ride off into the wind, coming home with a tailwind. I didn't think knowing in real time where the wind was blowing would be of any use. But after a little investigation, I found out this was a very, very popular data field with over 60,000 downloads and a whole ton of five-star ratings. This now had my attention. So in a nutshell, wind field will display real-time wind and weather information in a data field and a few other things if you want those too. The most useful thing of this data field is the wind direction arrow is always pointing with the direction of the wind. Depending on the version you use from free through to ultimate, it will refresh the weather data at different intervals and pull data from different sources. Free obviously being the most limited, but still very useful. Note that is the data updating at intervals, the arrow will always turn based on your heading and your orientation into the wind. Pulling up the Windfield website for their version comparisons because there are four options to choose from here. Obviously starting off with free, which costs you nothing. The data refresh rate there is 60 minutes from one weather source and one optional data field. Stepping up to standard, which is a 15 minute data refresh with two weather sources, two or three optional data fields at $7 US a year. Pro, five minute interval updates, closest weather station, up to six data fields and a few extra things there, air quality data, Strava integration, Strava rewards, conditional fields, and a few other bonus apps as well, $12 US per year, and the ultimate, which is a five minute update as well, same as Pro, averages all the closest weather stations up to six data fields and all the rest that you see there on screen. For me, I've gone with the Pro version. That price is for one Garmin device, and there's a transfer option too. So if you upgrade your Garmin or want to switch to another unit halfway through that year, you can do that on their website. There's also another bonus there that you can dig into over on the website, where if you have multiple Garmins, they'll bump you up one level if you've got multiple subscriptions. But anyway, full details over on their website. On to the installation, and this is done with the Connect IQ mobile app, where you search for wind fields, connect to your device, hit install and sync everything up. Once synced up, Select one of the data fields over on your Garmin device, scroll down to Connect IQ and Wind Field. Now that's all you need to do if you're going with the free version of the Wind Field data field. If you want to use any of the three subscription options, then you'll need to use the code that shows up on screen there to then register over on their website. And then once installed, reboot your Garmin device and your data field will now have all the options depending on the subscription level that you've chosen. Configuration can be done via the Connect IQ app. And when using this out on the road, you will need the Connect Mobile app loaded. In the background is fine, but it needs to be there as the data channel so it can pull down that weather information in real time. This took me around five minutes or so to set up on my Edge 840, and it has worked perfectly since install. Now, if you were like me, and you're very skeptical of knowing which way the wind's blowing. What are the uses for this? Well, as I said, I'm pretty good with knowing which way the wind's blowing. I'll check before a ride and go out and suffer into the headwind and fly home with the tailwind. But there's always going to be a bend in the road or you'll be riding in a protected area where you just can't feel the wind direction. You'll pop out from a trail and you're just not quite sure which way the wind's blowing. Might be debatable whether that's useful or not. For me, it is. I love to know which way the wind is blowing so I can go easy or go hard. And some rides, you'll feel like you've got great legs or it feels like you've got bad legs, then you find out it's a headwind. Your power meter should be able to tell you what's going on, but being able to look down and seeing which way that wind is blowing, even with the slightest amount of wind, I found it useful. Another use case would be, let's just say you're a beginner cyclist. You're learning some race craft or bunch craft in a local group ride, but you're never quite sure where to sit in a crosswind. This data field will point you exactly to where you need to be. Sometimes sitting directly behind a rider isn't the best place to be. You need to be off to the side just a little bit. Yeah, I know, sure, old hat cyclists know exactly where to sit for the best draft. We're pretty sly dogs like that. However, if you want to learn some race craft and learn where to sit in the bunch and conserve a lot of energy, this field literally tells you within just a quick glance of where you need to be sitting. Useful or not, it's up to you. I think that's a pretty cool use case. And obviously, time trialing. I would have been using this for sure had it been available when I was racing time trials all over the country. Wind is a super important factor for course pacing and even equipment use too. Now, although you can't switch a front wheel halfway through a time trial, you can definitely switch up your pacing strategy. If the wind is swirling around, you're not quite sure where the course goes, left or right, this little data field will point you into the right direction. Well, the right direction for the wind, and then you have to adjust your pacing accordingly, obviously. 
Now, I respect this may be all just hot air for a lot of riders. Look, who cares which way the wind is coming from for your ride? Just go out and pedal your bike. I was kind of in that boat early on. Knowing which way the wind is blowing outside dictates which way I ride at the start, and I didn't think this would be very useful at all. However, I'll be joining the queue leaving a five-star review for this data field, and as I said, I've signed up for the pro subscription for this data field. So similar to the My Bike Traffic Radar add-on, which I highly recommend to use if you have an Amp Plus radar on your bike, this one is also going to be in my toolkit and in use for every ride. All right, links in the video description below to this one. Thumbs up if you found it useful. And if you're a user of this field, let me know in the comments below. What's your take? And with that, thanks for watching.